Hello guys, it's Johnny Dime. Welcome to another Decentralized Finance tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how we can use SushiSwap Decentralized App on Ethereum or any other chain using our secured Ledger Hardware Wallet device. If you are in this tutorial and assume that you already understand how important it is to use this kind of ledger device, if you have a lot of money in crypto, more than $5,000, more than $10,000, it's crucial that you don't use a cold, a hot wallet like MetaMask with a seed phrase and private key, but use a hardware wallet which will level up your security in DeFi and in particular in SushiSwap. So that's what we're gonna learn today. Super, super easy, super simple. Watch this video till the end. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button. So anytime I post this kind of educational content about crypto and DeFi, you can learn it as soon as possible. And if this video is helpful for you, if you like my content, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so it will expose it to many more people that can learn about DeFi education. Now let's begin. Let's say you have a ledger and maybe you have bitcoins, maybe you have Ethereum and maybe you don't have anything on it. Maybe you have some uh, money staked on SushiSwap, on yield farms in MetaMask wallet and you want to level up your security of your funds. So what we are going to do today is actually to connect our ledger device, our hardware wallet to MetaMask extension and the MetaMask will send a transaction to the SushiSwap Sushi decentralized app. So the private key will be only in the ledger itself and the private key never touches the browser memory or the computer memory, but only this kind of secured operating system encrypted in the ledger. So we're gonna sign the transactions on the ledger and then the ledger will send them to the MetaMask and the MetaMask does not know the private key, which means it is only the gateway to the RPC node in order to send the transaction to the smart contract to the decentralized app. So that's what we're gonna do basically today. And in order to do it, the first thing that you need to do is download a ledger application that's called Ethereum. So in order to do so, we will go to, to we we'll download an app called Ledger Live. You can download it for MacBook, for Windows, for Linux. It works in all the uh, platforms. Basically, you download the app and you open it. And right after you open it, you can see that this is how it looks like. Sometimes it will ask you to update your ledger firmware ledger device click update always to get the first and the newest version of the hardware that you have inside the ledger and the ledger live app and then you go on the left side menu to manager here you can manage all the applications that are installed on your ledger device the application that we need to install is the ethereum application so in order to install it i will just click here install it will take a while several seconds per usually and now it downloads into the ledger device, into the firmware, the Ethereum application. And then you can see here, loading, please wait, because it installed it right on the operating system of the ledger itself. So we will wait a while until the installation will be finished. And once it's done, the next thing we'll do is to close your ledger live app. Now you see that the application is installed, so I'm just gonna close the ledger live app. And now, we will use a Firefox browser. Make sure you use a Firefox browser because in Google Chrome browser, this kind of connect connecting the ledger to the MetaMask extension will not work because they remove some kind of feature that now they do not support the integration with hardware wallets. So make sure you are using Firefox browser only. Now we are going uh, to connect our I'm already assuming that you know what MetaMask is and if you don't know what it is, make sure to watch my other tutorial about MetaMask, what it is and how it works and how to install and create MetaMask Wallet. I will put a link in the description below. And I already assume that you already have Ledger. If not, also I will have a link in the description that you can buy it. By the way, guys, if you don't have Ledger yet and you want to buy it, simply use the link that I have in the description below and it will redirect you to the Ledger website where you can buy Ledger S or Ledger 
x this is an affiliate link actually by clicking this link i will get a small commission from the purchase it will you will pay the same price but i will get some commission from the ledger company and it will be very 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 helpful for me to help me to create more videos pay to editors and scale my channel up to create more and more and more content because i'm doing it actually right now without any earnings so if you want you like my content you want to support my channel and anyways you're willing to buy ledger please consider using the link in the description below you can buy the nano s which is more affordable it actually enough for this tutorial you can buy the nano x for 60 dollars you can also buy three nano s and get 21 percentage if you have any family members and you want to give them also ledgers if you want to divide your assets to different wallets so you can buy multiple nano s ledgers that's what i'm doing i have multiple ledgers not only one or you can buy the nano x which is doubled of the price in 120 dollars and actually it does it's not necessary to have the nano x it has more storage and it has some kind of advantages but actually the nano s is just fine just fine so i recommend you getting the nano s and again consider using the link in my description in order to support my channel and support my content creation thank you so much and but now you have already ledger you set it up you have metamask wallet and you're going to click here on the metamask right here you're going to click on the avatar on the top right of the metamask section and then you're going to click connect hardware wallet you're going to connect your hardware wallet your ledger we're going to pick ledger into the metamask browser now it will look for the ledger device it looks for the hardware that is connected to the computer it will take a while all right make sure to open the ethereum app once you connect your hardware wallet so if you see here in the ledger you can select apps by just going clicking the button left right so you go until you see ethereum once you see ethereum you click this kind of small two buttons this is ledger nano s if it's nano x then the buttons will be on front of the ledger now i'm inside the ethereum application and now you can see that my wallet has been loaded my hardware wallet has been connected to metamask and now it asks me that it has several accounts inside and i need to select one account or multiple accounts that i want to connect to the the metamask extension uh, right now all my accounts are empty because i don't have any ether on the ledger it's a brand new ledger but if you have ether on your ledger then you can select the account that contains the eater i will just select the first one because it doesn't matter all of them are empty i click unlock and there you go guys congratulations now your ledger device is connected to the metamask browser now the next thing that we are going to do is go to sushi swap application and now i don't know which wallet is connected right now you also don't know because it will be censored but i will open my metamask extension and now i have a prompt to ask that ask me actually appsushiswap.com your current account is not connected and it asks me which account do you want to connect i'm gonna select right here the ledger because i want to connect the ledger and now the ledger is connected to sushi swap and if you open it right here we'll see that we have two accounts one account is the original account of metamask that when we installed the browser extension we created this account and the second account is the ledger the physical wallet and you can see this kind of gray label that mentions that it's a hardware wallet and it's not actually a metamask wallet but the metamask is only the gateway to our web 3.0 application the wallet is actually inside the ledger so i'm going to select here the ledger and then close the extension and now my ledger is connected you will not see because the address is censored but trust me your ledger is now connected to sushi swap to the decentralized app now I don't have any ETH and I don't want to do transactions because it will cost a lot of money because of the gas fees, but actually it's super, super simple. And you basically confirm the transaction on the MetaMask first, and then you, go, you need to confirm it twice on the ledger. Since the ledger is the one who's signing the transaction, you will have to confirm it on the ledger itself. So I'm gonna show you an example right now with PancakeSwap because the fees are super low there and it's on bsc scan it's much more convenient and easy and cheaper to send transactions so i'm going to connect here my ledger device 
to MetaMask and add here Binance Smart Chain. And now I have some BNB already on my Ledger device. So I'll go to exchange and we are going to change some BNB with, you know what, let's change back our cake tokens into BNB tokens. So we're swapping cake with BNB. This is the exact same app like SushiSwap. It's a decentralized exchange, so it doesn't matter if you use it on Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. And just the example is gonna be on Binance Smart Chain because the fees are cheaper and I already have some BNB inside. So first we'll need to enable cake. So this is just an example of transaction. I'm gonna click enable cake. Now the MetaMask will prompt the transaction that I need to enable the cake. I will click confirm and usually if it's a normal MetaMask wallet, you will, uh, while clicking confirm, the transaction will be sent to the blockchain. But in that case, you can see that we have a prompt on our ledger device review transaction because we need to confirm it by going all the way left or right, doesn't matter, all the way until we see accept and send. Once we see accept and send, we're gonna click the two buttons and just after clicking the two buttons, you will see that actually the transaction is being broadcasted to the blockchain because we send a transaction here and then the MetaMask is sending the transaction to the blockchain. And you can see here the transaction received, approved cake has been submitted and now we'll do the second transaction to swap our cake tokens back to BNB. And I will click confirm here and you see now I'm inside Ethereum app. You don't, you will be inside Ethereum app. Click confirm and bam, after swap failed. Why? All right. Blind signing must be enabled. All right, we have an, er an error. All right. So we had this error because blind signing was not enabled. You need to go to the settings right here. So you can go inside the application of Ethereum, you go all the way until we find settings, then you enter settings and now you can see that blind signing is not enabled and we'll need to click these two buttons in order to change it to enabled. Now it's enabled and now we actually can send transactions to smart contracts using the ledger and now the problem will be solved. So we're gonna click swap again, confirm the transaction, and now guys, we got the right screen review transaction. We're gonna go all the way until we see accept and send. Accept and send, I'm gonna accept it. And you see, while I confirm the transaction has been submitted to the blockchain. Make sure that this kind of enabling, don't worry, you don't have to do it anytime. You just do it once and then the ledger, the settings will be like this, that you will be able to send transactions to smart contract using the ledger. So this was the guide. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, smash that like button. And if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them. Any questions, any things that you want to say in the comments, write them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.